Hi guys, welcome to this short flow yoga class. We're going to be focusing on side body opening and stretching with a few twists thrown in to help that process open deeper. So making your way to cross the ankles to start. Lean back towards your spine and lift up tall through the top of your head. Bringing your hands together in front of your chest and pausing a moment with your breath. Feeling the breath flowing in and out through the nose. On your next in-breath, reach your arms up over your head. As you breathe out, sliding your hands back down in front of your heart. We're going to do this a few times. Start to gently open and warm into the side body with the breath. Inhale and extend. Exhaling hands down. And if you need to, you part the palms as the arms reach up. Or keeping the palms together if that's available to you. Now next time you reach your arms up, we're going to keep them there. Interlace your fingers and turn your palms up away from the top of your head. Lift up out of your hips. Try to stretch the arms long. Pressing your palms up away from your crown. Balance the wrists. Don't tilt them forwards. And now moving with the breath again, we're going into some twists. So on an exhale, turning to the right, right hand behind you. On an inhale, lift your arms back up again. As you exhale, twist to the left. So keep going left to right, following the movement of your breath. Keeping the shoulders soft each time the arms go up. more to each side. Next time the arms go up, on an exhale, slide your hands back to your heart. We're going to stretch legs straight out. Bend your left knee up, step your left foot over your right thigh. Twist around to the side. Make that right leg long and straight, stretching the heel forward and pulling your right toes up towards your knee. Feel the breath moving through you. And each time you breathe in, grow a little bit taller. On an in-breath, circle forwards and twist the legs, feet together, stepping right foot over the left thigh. Circle off to the opposite side. Check that you're pressing that left heel forward and pulling your toes back towards your shin. Each in-breath, lifting up higher out of your lower back. And then circle forward, stretch the right leg straight. We're going to bend the left knee up again, taking left foot over the right thigh, pull the thighs in towards each other and drop that top knee over the bottom knee. So check that the outer edge of your left foot is facing the mat, inner ankle faces up. Lift your heart and with an exhale, twist around to the left. But turn the right palm away from your leg and lengthen up through the very top of your skull. Good. 
Let the top leg feel really heavy here. Keep sinking it down towards the bottom one. And then on an in-breath, circle forward. Tip over onto your right hand. Press the left bum down and float your left arm up and over your head. Don't drop your right ear down to your shoulder. Lengthen through the sides of your neck and stretch through the top of your head towards the left fingers. Each out breath, sinking the left thigh down a little bit more, keeping it nice and heavy. Coming all the way up, we change leg, left leg straight out in front of you, right leg steps over and then slide the foot a little bit further out to the side, line the knees up with each other and drop the right thigh down. So the outer edge of the right foot is on the mat, not the sole of the foot. Circle around to the right, flex the left ankle, turn your left palm away from your right leg. Check here if you're leaning more into your left or your right thumb or the left or the right thigh. Balance that out, please. Keep lengthening up taller and taller each time you breathe in. And then circling forward. We tip over onto the left hand, keep the right butt down and float your right arm up and over. Come into that beautiful long side body in the right side. Don't let your left toes flop over to the left. Keep the baby toe pointing straight up away from the ground. And coming all the way up, untwist your legs, make your way onto hands and knees, take a few spinal rolls, fill yourself with breath, Coming into a flat back, take your knees a little bit further back, walk the hands a bit further forward, tuck your toes under and lift your knees to downward facing dog. Come down dog, take your feet forward to your hands, sink down deep over thighs. On an inhale, we we'll rise, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to chest. Moving into Surya Namaskar. Breathe in, stretch up. Breathe out, forward fold. Half lift with the inhale. Travel back into your plank. Lying down as you breathe out. On the in breath, lift your chest. Move the upper arms back as far as you can, away from your chest and then take it back to hold your downwards dog. Look forward, take your feet up to the top of the mat. As you breathe out, fall down over your shins. On the in-breath, rise, arms all the way up over your head, lean to your back as you exhale, hands to chest. As you breathe in, reach straight back up. On the out-breath, fold forward, tip into your toes, keep the legs strong as you half lift. Keep breathing as you take yourself into your plank. And then lowering down, through your back bend on your inhale, 
and then make your way back down this facing dog. From your down dog, step walk or hop feet up to your hands. Sink down as you exhale. And on an inhale, float up to standing. Keeping arms over your head. Now you stay standing. I'm coming to shin so you can see what I'm doing if you need to. You're going to grab hold of your left wrist with your right hand. Pull up as you breathe in. And then bend over towards the right. Keep pulling the left wrist or forearm or hand with your right hand. You're not just holding, you're pulling. You don't have to fold over deep. Coming to center, change the grip, hold right wrist or forearm or hand with the left hand. On an exhale, tip over to the other side. It's fine if you twist a little bit with your chest and your hips forward. Coming to center again, release hands to the back. On an inhale, reach up. On your exhale, forward fold. Half lift, stretch the chest forward as you breathe in and travel straight back into downwards dog. Now we're going to take a low lunge, stepping the left foot forward, drop your right knee to the mat and bring your hands to your chest in Namaste. Twisting right elbow over the left thigh. Point the left elbow back at a diagonal angle. Don't lift the left elbow straight up over the right elbow. Lift your chest up high and lengthen through the two sides of your neck and the top of your head. On an in-breath, we're lifting up to warrior one arms, keeping the slow lunge in the leg. So keeping the low lunge, warrior two arms, left arm forward, right arm back. Keep opening your left knee wide. If you need to, press your knee open with your hand or forearm. Keep both elbows straight. Circling so hands to the mat. On an exhale, take left leg to plank or down dog split. Inhale forwards and flow yourself down with the exhale. Rolling through and back to down dog. From down dog, right foot steps forwards, left knee down. Hands to your heart and namaste again. Wrapping left elbow over the right thigh or knee. Point the right elbow back towards the back of your mat not straight up to the sky. Keep stretching your chest forward in the direction your fingertips are pointing. We keep the back knee on the mat, stay in the low lunge, take arms up to warrior one. Taking right arm forward, left arm back, warrior two arms. Maybe dropping right arm to the inside of the right knee to help that inner groin release a bit more as you press the knee wider. Circling hands to the mat. Either stepping right leg into plank or swinging it back and up to the sky. Blowing yourself forward through your transition in your own time. Let's hold down, dog. Focus on your breath. Check the alignment of feet and hands. And then traveling feet to the top of the mat again. 
sink deep into your forward fold. Hold that there for a couple of breaths. With an in breath, coming all the way up to standing. Exhaling hands to center to chest. Breathe in and stretch up again. On your exhale, forward fold. On an in breath, lift and lengthen forward with the chest. From there, traveling back into downwards dog. From down dog, you're going to take past Bottanasana. We're stepping the right foot forward. Turn your left heel in and down to a 45 degree angle and stretch both legs straight, folding over the right thigh. So either hands on your shin or ankle or fingertips or palms on the ground. But if you really want to stretch the sides open, try and take your fingers or your arms and hands a little bit further forward. Now, as you reach forward with the top of your head and your fingers, press back with the back leg, press back with the inner arch of your left foot. Now, I want you to make sure your left knee points towards your left big toe. Don't twist it towards the baby toe and walk your hands towards the left side of your mat. So as the arms go off to the left, twist your left knee forward. Don't twist the left knee out to the side. Keep twisting your right knee forwards as well. So opening that right side body up. You might feel a deeper stretch in the backs of the legs here as well. Keep checking your left knee is not twisting towards the left. And now walking hands, either side that right foot again. We're going to twisting triangle, left hand down, right arm lifts up. Try to get your left hand as close to the right foot as you can, or even on the ankle, or on the shin, or hand on the outside of the right foot. Releasing your right hand down, bend your front knee, step into plank, and lower down with an exhale. Go up with an in-breath, and make your way back to hold your down dog for a moment. From down dog, pass for Tanasana, left foot steps forward, right heel turns in and down to 45 degree angle, folding over the left leg. Try to have both knees straight. Don't tuck your chin in and look back to the back of the mat. Look down towards the left foot or towards the front of your mat. Stretch the chest forward. Stretch through the top of your head. And then check that your right knee is pointing towards the right big toe, not towards the baby toe. Keep that, the right knee twist forward as you walk your hands towards the right side of your mat. Keep moving this left hip back towards the back of the mat. Don't twist it towards the left. Right knee turns forward, not out to the right. Walking your hands to either side, your left foot. We're balancing on the right hand. Twisting triangle, left arm up. Don't let that back heel lift. Keep it on the mat. Keep breathing. Releasing your hand down, step into your plank, flow through your transition. From down dog, taking feet forward to your hands, sink down, 
Switch arms back, interlace with clasped hands. Melt into your forehead. Melt into the top of your head. On an in-breath, come up to standing, releasing the hands. Next in-breath, reach up on your exhale, forward fold. Lengthen through the spine, half lift, and take yourself straight back to down dog. From down dog, right foot steps forward, left knee to the ground. When you lift, hang your arms by your side. Keep the left arm down as you take your right arm up and then we tip over onto the left fingers. Try not to tip your chest forward here if you can. Try to make this a side bend, not a forward bend. Sink the shoulders down. Coming to center. Either right leg to plank or down dog split. And then breathe yourself forwards and down. From down dog, we're taking left foot up for the low lunge. When you lift your chest, hang your arms by your side. Keep the right arm there as the left arm goes up. And then tip over to the right. Again, try not to lean forwards here. Make sure the neck stays relaxed. Coming to center, palms to the ground. Take your transition, whichever one you choose, in your own time. Taking a big step forward from down dog with your right foot, walk your hands to the left side of your mat, come into your wide leg forward fold, sink down for a few moments. Check that your feet are aligned, don't have the toes turned up. And now we're going to come all the way up. Turn your toes out slightly and we're coming into a horse stance. You bend into your knees, press the knees wide. And from here we're going to take some side stretches. We're going to take elbow to thigh. Inhale and reach up. Exhale and float over. Going side to side with the breath. Press the knees out. Make sure you're not leaning into your inner ankles. Arches of the feet pulling up high away from the mat. Inhale to lift up. Exhale to take it over. Next time you tip to one leg, let's hold it there. Really press down with the outer edges of the feet. And keep pressing your calves away from each other. Floating up to center and to the other side. And then we're going to come to center, stretch the legs straight, turn the feet parallel, reaching arms back, lift your chest. With an exhale, fall down. On an inhale, rise. Turning your left toes to the back of your mat. Reach the arms wide. Bend down into warrior two legs. 
and then coming to side angle pose either left elbow to thigh and right arm over your head or left fingers to the ground keep sinking the back of your left thigh to parallel to the mat coming up to center feet parallel again right toes point to the front of the mat bending into warrior two legs again and then elbow to thigh left arm over your head maybe fingertips to the ground on the inside of your foot Now taking your hands down either side your right foot take the right foot a little bit wider to the right and drop your left knee down to the ground we're going to take arms up to warrior one the low lunge warrior one arms with an exhale open to warrior two right arm forward left arm back Taking arms back up to warrior one with a breath and on an exhale twist right arm back left hand to the outside of the right leg wrapping your right arm back behind you maybe hooking your fingers over the left hip or if you can slide your hand further down the outside of that left leg hooking fingers over the outer thigh maybe you can turn your head and look back at your left heel Taking arms back up to warrior one. On an exhale, open to warrior two again. Reversing your warrior, left hand to your left leg. Right arm reaches over your ear. Coming back up to warrior one, arms. And with an exhale, twist, left hand over the right leg, right arm wraps behind you, or fingers hooking over the outside of that left leg again. Circling hands to the mat. Take your right leg back and up to the sky and down dog slip, bending that right knee. right foot to the ground taking the left foot forwards into your low lunge drop the right knee down arms float up to warrior one opening to warrior two left arm forward right arm back And then taking arms back up to warrior one on an exhale twist to the left left arm back right hand over the left leg either wrapping the left arm behind you or if you can slide your hands further down the outside of that right thigh hooking fingers taking your hand towards your right knee and now taking your arms back up to warrior one and on an exhale, opening to warrior two again. Left arm forward, right arm back. And then reverse your warrior, right hand to the right leg. Left arm over the left side of your head as you twist your chest towards the right side of your mat. We're taking arms back up to warrior one and with an exhale make your twist
and twisting, hands to the mat, taking left leg back, down dog split, bend your left knee and hold it there. Bringing left foot to the ground, we're making our way down to the mat. Coming to cross ankles, we're going to twist, so bring your right chin in front of your left, hands together at your heart, either taking right elbow just to touch the left knee or calf, and lifting your left elbow straight over that right elbow, or hooking the elbow over the outside of your knee or leg. Step down into your right shoulder, keep dropping right shoulder towards the ground, and you don't have to look up. You can look towards your hands or even down towards the mat. Coming all the way up, change the cross of your legs, opposite chin in front, hands to heart, and twist left elbow to left thigh or calf or knee or hooking over the leg. Try and lift your right elbow straight up over the left elbow and lean into your shoulder. And you can turn your head in whatever direction is most comfortable for your neck. Coming all the way to center again. We're opening legs out into a wide V shape. We're going to sway from side to side with the breath. Inhale and reach up, exhale over. Inhale to center, exhale to the other side. Keep going left to right. Keep your thighs on the floor. And we'll hold it over to one side. Don't drop your ear to your shoulder. Keep it lifting, lengthening through both sides of the neck. Come to center. Flip it over to the other side. Lift your left ear away from your left shoulder. Coming up to center, twist your chest towards your left leg. Have a really good twist here. And then lean your right waist over towards your right thigh. Either drop right hand or elbow to the ground or elbow to thigh. And take your left arm straight up. Move the shoulder and the armpit back. And then take your arm over your head towards your right toes. So you can keep your arm lifted like this and just really stretch into fingers. That's probably better for you than curving and trying to reach the toes. The way to reach the toes is to fold deeper into your thigh. You've got to get your right shoulder to the ground and then your hand will easily get down. Rolling forward to the midline between the two legs. Pause there a moment. And then roll yourself all the way up. Twist your chest towards your right leg. Have a really good twist here. And then lean your left waist over towards the left leg. Rest on your left hand or your elbow or forearm. Float the right arm straight up. Take your armpit and shoulder back. Then try and take your arm over your head again. You want a nice long straight elbow if you're not going for the foot. Lengthen through the top of your head. If you're going for your toes, 
try and drop your left waist to touch your thigh, left shoulder to touch the leg, then take your arm over. Rolling forward, come to the midpoint, and now this time we're going to stay here, so either resting on hands or forearms, or reaching your hands out for your legs. Stretch your heels away from your hips. And coming all the way up, We're going to make our way onto back for two minutes of Shavasana. Flop your feet and relax your legs. Sink into the shoulders. Flatten your shoulder blades into the floor. Each time you breathe out, feel yourself sink. Getting heavier and heavier with each out breath. Wiggling your fingers and your toes. Rolling your wrists and your ankles. Taking a deep breath. Stretch yourself. And then lift yourself up to sitting. Namaste, everyone.